welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. What the mainstream media was too afraid to tell you about the news this week. This week, while the mainstream media freaked out over Trump allegedly saying that Haiti and Africa were bleephole countries, here are the things that happened that really matter. The Democrats admit that the reason they want to legalize Dreamers is because they need the votes of the Dreamers to win elections in 2018 and 2020. A leaked memo written by a former Hillary Clinton aide says, and I quote here, if Democrats don't do everything in their power to protect Dreamers, that will jeopardize Democrats' electoral chances in 2018 and beyond. The fight to protect Dreamers is a critical component of the Democratic Party's future electoral success. In other words, all that talk about compassion and morality, that is a lie. The Democrats just want illegal immigrants to vote for them. And the mainstream media, they didn't even report this story. Britain's healthcare system canceled 50,000 surgeries because they could not afford to pay for them. That's called rationing of care. And then, as if that rationing is not bad enough in and of itself, the health secretary in the United Kingdom defended the rationing, and I quote here, as a planned, methodical, thoughtful approach. Yet the Democrats want to bring a socialized, government-run healthcare system like that here to the United States. But did we hear this story from the mainstream media? Of course we didn't. They don't want to damage the Democrats' talking points about so-called free health care. A radical Muslim imam in North Carolina who teaches at a mosque that's turned out five terrorists in the past few years, he called for the destruction and murder of Jews. Now that's the kind of hateful Islamist rhetoric you might expect to hear from a terrorist in the Middle East, but this guy is here, right here in our own backyard. And how did he get here, you ask? Well, he's a Syrian refugee. But did the mainstream media bother to tell you about that? No, they didn't. Last but not least, a grand jury takes sworn testimony in the case of Bernie Sanders' wife, Jane Sanders. Mrs. Sanders is accused of committing bank fraud, telling the bank that she had over $2 million in pledge donations when she did not have that money in order to get the bank to give her a loan. That's textbook bank fraud, and witnesses are now giving testimony about it. Now, Bernie Sanders denies that any of this happened, which is ironic since he claims to be a crusader against corruption. And the mainstream media? Well, of course, they ignore this enormously significant scandal because it's the only way to protect Bernie Sanders' chances in 2020. The mainstream media doesn't care to report any of that to you, so we will. And that is my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at OANN.com contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern, and until then, have a good night.